Welcome back to Tony Hawk 2X. I played this a little bit before. I beat all the Pro Skater 2 levels. I'm gonna move on to the 2X. And I forgot that you can buy new decks and that they actually change your stats. You see there's stats for the decks up there in the top left. I'm gonna go with this one. I also changed the outfit because why not? All right, let's continue into 2X. Um, so I played the first, I think it's kind of interesting. I played through Tony Hawk 2, and then you get 2X, and then you get uh, 1, which is a little bit weird. Um, all right, I gotta remember what to do here. Um, it's a little bit weird that they're not in order, but when this came out, Pro Skater 2 was still the newest one. 3 was about to come out, but 2 was still the newest one, so it makes sense that they would lead with 2. Like, it'd feel weird if you got this game and you end up playing something old, you know? So I get why they did that in that kind of reasoning, but it is a little bit weird. Um, I'm hoping to beat... I mean, it's possible I'll beat the whole game today, and this will be the second and last part. But I don't remember these levels nearly as well. Um, I was able to get everything without too much trouble in Pro Skater 2. But uh, not so much here. I did have, come on, I did have this game back when it was brand new. I think I got it the day it came out. I played it a lot, but a lot of the times I only played the Tony Hawk 2 stuff, and then I would start over. Ugh, come on. With those uh, glowing arrows on it, it looks like it would kind of push you along, like it would have some uh, some boost into it. But, yeah, these ones I don't know quite so well, so I'm going to have a little bit more trouble getting everything. Oh, I was supposed to do something on the DJ booth, wasn't I? Crap, see, I don't even know. Oh, you can't pause and look at the uh, challenges. Cool. Uh, these levels are not that good. I will be honest with you. Um, how do I even get up there? So, we'll see. I might be able to get through all of these and get through Tony Hawk 1 as well, but um, probably not at this space. I've gotten nothing so far. I got one phone number. And... Um, oh, what? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. All right, all right. I'm not going to have time. Where was that other letter? It was over here, I thought. Oh, there's a phone number up here. Yeah, this one is going to be a little slow, I think. What? Oh, that's not even there. <laughs> I thought I had to jump up here to get that. Is it just in that quarter pipe? I don't know. All right, well, let's start over. So I just posted my first part of this. I'm making sure they're not hiding anything in there. My first part... Um, of this game and uh, I was talking about like getting a mic and all that stuff um, I have a new mic which you're hearing right now hopefully it sounds all right I'm still testing one of the things that was really helpful with um, having the uh, just my camera was that I could film the screen and then syncing it was Ollie a little bit too early on that. And then syncing was easy because I could just see what was going on on the screen, find the exact frame and match it up. Having a separate audio recording and this uh, gameplay video is not going to be quite as easy, but hopefully I'll figure it out. I forgot to look at what my goal was for the DJ booth. I know there's something going on there. Um, all right, what's over here? I know I can gap up to there. So I was also talking about how I want to, um, oh, just a phone number. I want to do some live streaming in the future. And uh, I still need some more gear. But I did do something pretty cool. I bought a new camera uh, today. It's gonna come in maybe a week or so. Is there nothing up here? It's not even like a secret tape up here or something. All right. <laughs> um, I did buy a new camera. It's a Steezy 4K Beast. Nah, I mean, it's not like a really high-end one or anything. Um, but I'm looking forward to using that. I don't think I'm going to do my videos in 4K because no one needs to see me that clearly. But it has a down sample mode, so it can be like really clean. How do you get... I know there's like a back room. There's like the VIP area or something like that. I'm going to have some trouble with this game, I think. Um... Maybe I can squeeze in the high score, so it wasn't a huge waste. Um, yeah, like, no one needs to see me in 4K, especially when I'm showing, like, old games and videos that were on tape. Oh, I forgot to look at the level goals again. All right. 
But um, the camera that I use now is actually from 2007 and it shoots in 10 1080i. Well, there's nothing with the DJ booth? I swear there was. Digit skate and tape, okay. Um, it shoots in 1080i and it looks terrible. Like I do the best I can with it. I've got some really good lights. Like it, it looks as good as it can, but that is not very good. So uh, hopefully that will be a really nice upgrade for the channel. Uh, how do you get, man, I don't remember this level. Um, do you go underground somewhere? I don't know, going up there didn't do any good. Well, that didn't do any good either. Let's see, can you go back here? Or like a door? It's probably right in front of me. I probably skated right past it. One thing, oh, there's the Treyarch logo. That's a little Easter egg for you. That's who made the game. Um, like you can see through stuff and I can tell there's something back there. Oh man, I was gonna say one of the toughest things for me is like finding things. Like I'll, I'll rebuy stuff that I already have. Oh, you can see back there. Do I just have to go through those doors? Cause you would think that would go outside, right? Is it back here? It's, <laughs> oh man, yep. Another day in my life. This is what it's like. There's doors that open to a room. I don't see it while I'm looking right at it. Uh, yeah, I will buy stuff that I already have because I can't find it. I will like, it's, it's tough. I don't know what's wrong with me. I think I have like motion based vision where I can only see things that are in motion and then like finding something on a shelf is almost impossible. All right, there's gotta be an A around here somewhere. This would be a good time to be able to move the camera around. It's not up here, is it? There's a, the deck might be on the one above, or the secret tape, I mean, might be right above me, maybe? I don't know. Man, I have <laughs> made zero progress so far. Cool, cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not seeing me finish this entire uh, game today, but I guess we'll see. The Tony Hawk 1 stuff, come on. If you tap down real hard, sometimes you'll level out. Um, I don't see myself beating uh, the whole thing, but I was gonna say Tony Hawk 1 is actually a bit easier in this version because you can start with full stats. I don't know where the A is. It's gotta be up there somewhere, right? Um, oh, it's up there, okay, right. Um, because you can start with full stats and you can do manuals, which for the high score makes it really easy. Um, one of the hardest things, come on. I am just flopping around loose here. Um, one of the hardest things in Tony Hawk 1 is the high scores because without doing um, manuals, your combos can't get too big and having to mix up your tricks ends up being a really big part of it. So, um, like you can't do too many kickflips. You gotta do every trick equally to get the most out of that. Um, and you know, every grind and every flip trick, try to do them comboed together as much as possible. Try to stretch them out with grinds. Like it's tough to not devalue your tricks so much that it's impossible to uh, beat the high scores. But with this one, they didn't update what the scores were. So if the high score was 10,000 in, in the original, it'll still be 10,000 and it'll take you one quick combo, you know? Um, that's something that they maybe could have tweaked. I get that they wanted to keep it as original as possible. Come on, <laughs> I'm just trying to ollie out of the quarter pipe, which is not always that easy. Um, I get that they wanted to keep it original, but there were some things they probably could have done. Um, where's that tape? That's what I'm actually looking for around here. Um, but I think it would have been interesting. Oh, maybe I have to grind that rail around? I think it would have been interesting if um, they combined the careers and actually tried to like, make something new out of it. So like, let's say you beat the first, <laughs> you know, the doing a wall ride is sometimes really touchy. Um, but like, let's say you do the first stage of Tony Hawk 1 and then it takes you to the first stage of Tony Hawk 2. Um, ugh, too fast. And then it took you to one of these bonus ones and then level two of all these. Man, I'm having so much trouble with this today. Uh, that would have been kind of cool and combine everything and update the scores so that it made sense. But now like you're 
it's not only easier to play. Uh, I want to go fast enough so I don't have to balance all day, but um, I can't go too fast. Like these levels, I think they're made assuming that you've got really good stats already. So come on, come on. What what did that do? That didn't lead anywhere. Ugh. These are not the best design levels in the world. As you'd expect, you know, they're Treyarch, they're not never soft. I don't see a tape anywhere back here. Um, let me just go for the let me just go for those digits. All right. Yeah, so there's this level, there's a uh like a job site thing which was kind of cool at the time i remember because it's very like you can climb this building it's a very vertical level you gotta do all these transfers to get higher up um and i remember that being a big deal when it came out because you wouldn't have been able to do that on the ps1 so like this level could have been on the ps1 it would have looked a little uglier you wouldn't have the xbox logo flying past you on the screen but it would work and it'd be fine um but that level probably couldn't exist so it'll be interesting to see something that's a little bit different, but um, it's just not quite as fun. Oh, come on, why is that lined up where I fall down? Like that, that's, ugh, that's ridiculous. It's not that easy to get up there and then it's gotta screw me over like that. Let's try it again. Come on, come on, far enough. Nope. <laughs> yeah, these are frustrating. Um, this is, it's almost better to skip these and go right into Pro Skater 1. And if I was just playing it for myself, maybe I would have. Grind some, oh, come on. I don't have any other way to get there except for doing that. And I've done it before a couple of times and now suddenly, uh, all right, maybe I'll just grind the first one and I'll try to gap out. Okay, how is that happening? I don't know. Um, all right, so it's not up there. I think it was on the other side, wasn't it? Or was it over here? Oh no, this isn't where I'm supposed to go, but this is where the tape is. Uh, let me try to do this later. I'm gonna have to come back here, I guess. Where was that last digit? Was it up here? Please be up here. I would appreciate it very much. All right, cool. All right, so I will go back for the secret tape and then the high score. All right, uh, one thing I have been forgetting to mention on this game, I believe it is backward compatible on the Xbox 360. Not the Xbox One, but if you have an Xbox 360, this should work, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, I saw, I was looking for box art when I was making the uh, thumbnail for the last uh, edition of this gameplay video thing. And, oh yeah, now I remember, you gotta gap out from these top ones. Um, and I saw a box cover for the 360 version, which is not a different version. It's just, um, oh, oh, I did it, okay. Which is not a different version. They just repackaged it and said it's backward compatible. Uh, I kind of hate when they do that, but um, yeah, at least it made it obvious that you could play it on the 360 if you wanted, and you probably should. Um, but yeah, I, I do think that's weird because I saw uh, in the store, you can get Skate 3. So just at, at a, a normal uh, like a Walmart or Target or something. You can get Skate 3, but it's in an Xbox One box. It's not like remade for the Xbox One. It's on backward compatibility, but it's not a port. It's just like another press of the 360 version, but it's got a box. Like it's it's kind of it's kind of deceptive, I think. But anyway can play this on the 360. Maybe you can play more Tony Hawk games. I don't know. I My 360 died uh, a couple times. I lost a couple 360s to uh, Red Rings. Oh, is there a 6 score? I don't think so. It's just pro score, I think, right? I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to keep going. Um, I lost a couple 360s to the old Red Ring of Death, so I don't really didn't keep up with it for as long. I switched to PS3 after a little while. Okay. Ugh. I hope there's only a pro. I'm pretty sure there's only a pro. Yeah, see, this is the difference between me knowing exactly what I'm doing. Oh, well, how'd I even bail? Okay, fine. I don't know why they're calling the challenges tapes this time either. It's kind of weird. Like, some of the choices they made don't make a ton of sense to me. 
but let's move on. So that was the club. Construction site. All right, this is the one I was telling you. There's that big tower in the middle. Um, and as you can probably imagine, the secret tape is probably at the top of that. Something else I did off camera, actually, was um, I turned off the motion blur, which I forgot you had to do. It looks a lot better without the blur on. Also, look at how tight that quarter pipe is. That's not a quarter pipe. Give me a break. Um, yeah, I turned off the motion blur, which is the one thing about this game that looks significantly worse than the PS1 version. I don't think adding in the blur was actually a plus, but I forgot that uh, that was an option. So that is off now. And I think it looks a lot better. Okay, so all of the skate letters are on the way up here, I think. But I'm, <laughs> of course. I'm trying not to, like, overshoot it, but I don't know. This kind of reminds me of in Pro Skater 3 in Canada where you're trying to get the secret tape and you just have to line it all up, right? Okay, so I can see where that one is. Let me get some speed going again. It's right there. Okay, scat. I got scat. Where? Oh, okay. Maybe it's up here. Oh, don't, don't fall out. <laughs> Please don't fall out. Okay, okay. Now, there's an E up here, and there's got it. The tape's got to be up here, too, right? Where else would it be? Okay, there is the E. No, I don't see it. Oh, is it? Is it maybe gapped between these two? That'd be kind of cool. Let's give that a shot. Oh, crap. <laughs> of course. That is not. See, now I gotta go all the way back up there on, on an, another run. I won't have time to just squeeze it in. I'm pretty sure that's where it is, but. Yeah, it's not necessarily the easiest thing to decide when you're staying in the quarter pipe and when you're not. Okay, so I gotta grind seesaws. Um, and then there's high score. What else? Alright. Seesaws, secret tape. I, I'm gonna, I'll go for seesaws and the score. Maybe I'll get another lead on where that secret tape is in case I was wrong and sucked to have to go back up there. Okay, I remember this being kind of difficult. Um, not difficult, but like hard to find all of them because it's kind of a samey looking level. Like there's not a lot of a lot going on. Like that tower is the main, the main selling point of this level, right? Where all these seesaws are, it's just like sand. I don't even know what I'm skating on. It looks like concrete, but it's like sandy texture, I guess. Alright. No, that's not good enough. I just love the blunt slides in this game. I always do blunts in those blunts. I shouldn't, because your score reflects what you do, but they just look so good. No, did I, I did that one, I did that one. Is there any in the middle here? I don't think there's any on the way up, but maybe in the bottom. Um, no. Okay. So I wanted to mention something about the music that I use on the channel. It's kind of weird, like I, the, uh, Videos sound so much different on YouTube. Oh, I didn't do that one yet. Uh, I swear I did that one. Um, the music sounds so much different for you when you watch it on YouTube than it does for me when I'm editing it in, in Premiere, which is stupid. Like Premiere is Premiere is trash. Um, I have to use uh, Photoshop and all that stuff for work. So like, oh, I thought I could go over there. So like it's, it's free essentially, like I pay for it, but um, it, it doesn't cost me extra to have Premiere. So I use that even though it's terrible. Come on, is that it? Tell me that's it. Yeah, woo, right at the buzzer. Perfect. Um, and uh, it's terrible and it crashes all the time. And it's just like when I, I edited the first, um, the first video in this series, playing 2X, like, I didn't have to edit much. I took out the music for the... Uh, when I, I uh, unlocked Eric Austin's videos, I had to take out the music. Like, I cut out a couple little things here and there. It wasn't a ton of work, but when I hit save, it crashed. Like, it it crashed on the saving part. Come on. It crashes all the time, but, like, uh, something I realized recently was 
that the music sounds so much different. Oh, come on. I did not hit up. I did a heel flip. I wasn't holding up. Um, that the sound is a lot different. So what I'll normally do is I'll pick some music and then I will turn it down until you can just barely hear it. Um, and it's weird because like I, I use some music. Where am I? I'm just going to start over. Um, and I use some uh, music and then I turn it down so low that you could barely hear it. And then I sent the video to a friend and he's immediately pointed out the music that I put in there. It's like, how do you even know? And then when I watch it on, on YouTube, it's actually kind of loud. Like, oh, come on. See, this is why I didn't want to have to reclimb this stupid tower. Um, like it, it, it mixes so much differently when you actually render it out from Premiere than how it looks or how it sounds when you're listening to it as, as you edit. It's really weird. So one thing that I had been doing lately was, um, I mean, I stopped recently, but maybe like all last year, I was just using these, uh, these loops. It was just like a drum loop, a 20 minute drum loop for the background music. And I thought it was a really good idea because um, don't fall off. Didn't that happen to me last time? Um, and I thought that was a good idea because like, it wouldn't react to my voice too much, you know, like it's not the same uh, pitch. I don't know. Like, I don't, I know a lot about making graphics and video. Oh, come on. Ugh. I know a lot about making graphics and video, but music is not really my thing. So I was just using those drum loops. I want to see if it just happens to be here by some crazy chance. Um, yeah, of course. But people complained and didn't like that at all. So I used something called Kick Blips for the Pro Skater 5 review, and it's just like it's chip tunes reimaginings of the Tony Hawk series music. And I thought it was just kind of no big deal. It was just background music, like you could barely hear it. But it's actually very easy to listen to, like in the online. And oh, God, are you kidding me? <sighs> uh, and a ton of the comments on that video were about the music and how much they liked it so that was kind of cool that's something i'm gonna try to do a little bit better with it seems like such a minor background thing to me but i didn't realize that it mixes so much differently why do i keep airing out no matter what i do i know how to play this game i promise what is this does this, oh, and of course I can't break because why would I be able to? Yeah, these levels, I'm telling you, they're terrible. Like even my least favorite Pro Skater 1 levels are leaps and bounds better than these. And I don't even technically know where the <laughs> secret tape is. I'm assuming that it's a gap between those half pipes, but I was thinking maybe that uh, path will shoot out to it or something, but it didn't look like there was anything at the end of it. All right, all right, I cleared it. now. Let's not air out. There we go. Okay, good. Good, good, good. That was frustrating. Okay, let's just see. What did I need? I need like 200,000 or something. Okay, that was lucky. I was worried I was going to fall down. Let's do some tricks. That was not what I wanted to do. Um, I seem to remember in two... Like, I mean, in... Uh, on the PlayStation, you could like hold triangle when you landed a big gap and you would be more likely to land it. I don't know if that's a real thing or if that's just what I thought. But like sometimes as your stats get bigger, that'll come up and you'll still land it anyway. I'm not entirely sure. All right, I needed what, 200,000 or was it 250? I'm not sure. I can just land this and see because that should get me over. Yeah, okay, it's 250. Cool, let's end run. I think that's everything. Good, thankfully. I'm so glad they didn't do full everything on these, like, you know, 10 goals for every of these levels because they are not that good. You're just trying to get through them. Although it might be kind of cool to see Skate Park of Tampa in here. Oh, this is a contest. All right. Because uh, it was in uh, Tony Hawk's Underground, and it's also a real place, although it has not looked like this in a long time. Uh, it is kind of cool because there's like the outdoor area and you can go to up on the roof, I think. I don't know if I'm confusing that with uh, underground. 
Well, I'm, I should probably be landing tricks here instead of running into stuff. All right. Maybe I'll try to go outside. If like if I get if I get a good enough, I thought that was the lip. I thought that <laughs> halfway up, it's got the same stickers as the coping. I thought that was where the lip was. Stupid. Um, if I do well enough on the first two, maybe I'll try to. Uh... Oh, I landed a big drop. Explore some and just show you the level. I can go out here, but like I think you can you can do the loop, which is worth some points and. <sighs> Come on, I am getting destroyed today. Come on, get to the coping, all right. <laughs> 84, that was horrible. Um, <laughs> I don't know there's a restart competition button there. Yeah, so I think maybe this level is too based on the real one. Um, so that it's hard to come up with lines. You know, like you grind the coping. Oh yeah, I forgot I gave myself new tricks. Um, like you grind the coping and in real life, it wouldn't have to guide you to another thing. Cause you're not gonna ollie out of a half pipe and grind on it, like the rafters or something like that. But in the game, they kind of have to do that stuff because that's what you do as a player, so. Um, this one is just, it just doesn't have very good lines in that type of way. But, like that, like, okay, what about right there? I grind that rail, and then it leads to nothing. So, anyway, I did a lot better this time. Hopefully that'll get me back on the right track. Okay, good enough. 96, okay. One more time. I've, I've got to get the gold, obviously, like, trying to 100% this game with one character, I mean, you know. Okay. Maybe I'll try to go back outside again and show you that. Well, I would. All right, so there's a loop here. <laughs> of course. And you can get up here. Yeah, okay. So I remember there being a really good gap up here. Like you could grind across, maybe. No, that was underground, I think. It's so weird having two different versions of the same place. Okay, don't be a big drop. Okay, cool. Still doing okay on this one. I don't think I'm doing wonderful, but... Okay, why did I go downhill and change directions on that one? The old fandangle. Cool trick. I swear I've got another one too, but I can't make it work. That's one kind of weird thing. I know I, I talked about it in the last last episode, but uh, the D-pad is not quite as good. So sometimes it's hard to get specific tricks. You can just kind of button mash a little bit more. All right, we got the subway, we got the skylines, and then we're done with this one. Whew, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do the subway. I just went to New York, actually, between recordings. My friend got married and I flew out there and I helped with stuff. I was a groomsman, helped set up the venue and I baked some cupcakes and stuff. Um, but I did not go in the subway. Never been in the subway. Hey, there's Ollie the Magic Bum again. Does he disappear when you Ollie him? Nope. Okay. Um, what am I doing here? I haven't seen a letter yet. Maybe I can just start with a score. That's, you know, normally that's kind of how I do it. Like I start by trying to get the high score and then I use that as an excuse to explore. Then I'll get to know the level a little bit more that way. All right, this kind of reminds me in a uh, grind session, there was a subway. Oh, and in, in Thrasher too. Yeah, I was thinking more of Thrasher actually. Um, there's a really cool, uh, oh, there's a, a really cool subway, and the the car comes by every now and then and stuff. Like it's uh, that's such a good game. That'll definitely be one of the ones that I play when I get my streaming setup figured out. Uh, any excuse I have to play that game again, I will. Is there not any skate letters in this level? It doesn't seem like it. Shouldn't there be a and shouldn't there be a quarter pipe right there? 
in case I miss like I keep doing. Okay. You know, grinding up these steps doesn't really work that well. So like you just get stuck at the bottom. Um, yeah, this level, not good. It's very cramped. There's a lot to just run into. There's not like an open area somewhere. Normally it'll be like a giant bowl or something like that somewhere. All right. What is the high score? It's gotta be 400,000, huh? Well, let's see what I can do. All right, let's see if I can switch up to the old, nope. Overturn, nope. Don't put me out of bounds, ah. Did I not, what is it? Okay, how, why can I not look at my goals? Oh, are there no goals here? That's why, because there's no goals. Like, if I end run, there's, okay, let me do the level select. Because I remember when you first started up, yeah, there's no, yeah, the goals are 100% on this one. There's just nothing here. Yeah, I forgot, these were unlocked from the start. These are like bonus levels. So you get three levels with stuff to do, and then you get two just bonus. That's so weird, I forgot about that. Yeah, there's that one competition and there's two levels. I mean, why? <laughs> they must have really hit the the uh, deadline pretty hard on this one. All right, I will show you this level because this reminds me of, there's one in Pro Skater 5. Uh, I forget what it's called, but it's like a, it's, it's, it's just like this. You're on the roof somewhere. You're gapping from building to building. Um, and I hate these because like, you can't just fly around and do anything you want because you might end up gapping off of the edge of the building or something like that. And believe it or not, that is not the most fun in a Tony Hawk game. Um, yeah, it's so weird. They <laughs> didn't put anything to do in here. I guess I will have time to play uh, Pro Skater 1. Alright. I probably won't finish it, though. So, this is pretty cool. Um, one of the big problems, it's in Detroit. And having spent a lot of time there, I used to work in the city. There's not all this many big buildings. There are a few right down downtown but it's more of a wide city like it's it's big like it's huge in the amount of space that it covers but it's not very vertical um so i don't know why they picked detroit for this one but whatever there's also a detroit level in grind session but there's like all these flaming pipes it's like steel factories and stuff um should maybe in been car factories you know, it's, it's weird, like, the, the car culture in Detroit is so much different. Now I live in uh, in uh, Colorado, and, like, you see a lot of Subarus and stuff like that. Like, in, in Detroit, if you're not driving an American car, like, people will get upset about it. I used to pass by the uh, Ford uh, manufacturing plant, and they have a special lot for non... or for, uh, for foreign cars. You have to park down the block and walk. You can't park at the building itself. Like, it's not Fords. It's not like you have to own a Ford. You have to own an American car to park in the lot there, which is, it's, it's, it seems so petty to me. You know, like you're, you're the guy on the line, you know, you're probably not making that much, but they have to require you to have a certain car. Like that's kind of ridiculous, but um, I would always get kind of amused by that. Okay, boxes, skate, and scores. Yeah, the high score is 5,000. I have full stats and I have manuals. I'm gonna get that in one combo. Well, we'll see. Oh, I won't because I, the D-pad kinda didn't obey me there, but okay. No big deal. I forgot there was only five goals in these. Um, or barely even that because the high scores are just gonna happen incident incidentally. Okay, that was skate. Let's get the boxes. There's one there, there's one up there. I remember that gap, like getting up here is really hard in the original version. It's actually a little bit hard here because if you grind, you'll just immediately be thrown off of it. Uh, kind of annoying. And there's one up here. I don't know this game nearly as well, but um, this level at least I think I'll be okay. 
Uh, the boxes, are they at the bottom of the half pipe? Oh no, they're, are they up there? Yeah, I just said I'll be okay and I can't remember. Uh, but I have a whole minute. Are they up here? Hello, boxes. Are you up there? Oh, you're right there. So, wait, did the, they didn't fall. That's cool. <laughs> um, yeah, there's another ripoff of this level in uh, Pro Skater 5. There's like that spot just like that where you can go up the ramps and you can like turn around. I don't know. It's kind of pointless. I hate that game so much. I hate having to think about it. That's the whole point of me playing this is that I can rinse that out of my brain and not have to think about it anymore. Uh, this level also made an appearance as the training level in Underground 2, I believe it was. Uh, but you could grind right here. If you had a wall plant on that, it would smash through and there's another area over there. Um, which is kind of cool. You know, like, they, they reused it just as a tutorial. It wasn't like, you know, they didn't try to... It wasn't about being lazy. I think it was just kind of a cool nod to have it in there. All right. Okay, wow, cleared it in one go. I'm so good. Oh, the mall. I hate the mall. Okay, let's do it. I did not go to any malls while I was in New York, so I don't know if this is accurate. I didn't do anything in New York except for help. Just kind of drove through the city to go upstate somewhere, and then I drove back at the end, so it wasn't the most fun in the world. All right. So I personally hate the one-way levels because if you miss something it takes forever to get back like you can't skate over in that direction um and i don't remember where everything is on these so it's gonna be a little bit tough i know you can go up here um but oh there's just a directory up here i don't think i'm gonna be able to get the directories and skate i may not even be able to get either um i know there's something over here right can't see, but I think it's by the elevator. Right? Is there something here? There was not. Um, is it that elevator? Uh, so yeah, what happens is you end up not getting anything because you have to do it in order. You miss something, you don't have time to go back. You know, I might not have got enough air last time. I want to be thorough because I swear there's something there. Okay. There's not. Um, so I can go back up. Or that's just. Let me see. Did I get this? Did I get the K? I did, okay, so I can keep going. Uh, directory. I just love the 360 flip in this game so much. Okay, the other directory is right there. Okay, got the T. Did I get the... See, I don't know if I got all the directories. Cause they're not like number, like in skate, with the skate you can tell. Oh wow, look at that, all right. Let me try to squeeze in a score real quick. I'm not sure what the what it is, but it's Pro Skater 1, so like how hard will it be? Okay. Got 100,000. Like, you can't even get 100,000. I, I don't remember it coming up, but I must have got it, right? There's no way I did. This is the second level. Okay, yeah. Now just the take. Which is not that hard because um, I have perfect stats from playing through Pro Skater 2 already. All right, let me go this way. Oh, that did not save me the time I hoped it would. I don't like that starting either. It's just kind of pointless. You gotta skate down that. And they ripped that off in Pro Skater 5. In the last level, the uh, underground, you start up there like that and you've gotta make your way down. Why? Like what? <laughs> oh, that game. All right. Oh, I overshot it. See, like, that's hard to make it far enough in the original game. Um, at least with the stats you have at this point. Well, how does stats work in Pro Skater 1? I don't even remember. Because, like, I'm not collecting any money here. Yeah, I don't remember. Do you have to buy, get new boards or something? I'm going to have to replay the original version of that at some point. All right. Well, that was easy. All right, so let us end that run. And move on. So I believe it was the Chicago Skate Park was next. Although sometimes it'll skip, like if you did so many goals. Okay. So that will be a contest. And then, yeah, it's doable that I'll do it all today. We'll see. I forgot that there were so many fewer uh, goals. But uh, all right. 
I don't know if this is based on a real place. I don't think so. Like that rail is really weird that there's just a drop in the middle of it. Um, but this level is tiny. And I, I remember playing this version uh, in a, a friend's basement. It was like one of my mom's friends that I knew as a very little kid, but then that was it. And I remember playing this one in school one, but I didn't know how to play or what I was doing, so. Didn't get much of an experience with the game until two came out. So yeah, like in uh, in the non X version of uh, Pro Skater One, you'll probably spend a lot of time here, either here or in the pool, just like doing airs like this, trying to mix up your tricks, doing different combos of flip and grab uh, to make sure you've done every type of combination you can, so that you don't uh, repeat tricks. And that's how you'll get your high scores. Um, I like it so much better the way it turned out, but it is a little bit weird because in the later, yeah, <laughs> of course, uh, that score is probably not even possible in the original version. Um, but uh, I, it's, it's kind of weird. Like when it, when the game becomes more and more about uh, your combos and just getting your multiplier super high, it just gets such a different feel. Um, not, not in a bad way, but. It just feels so much different than the original did. Okay, why? Well, like, why are there beams there so that it's hard to grind? It's just so, it's so weird. These are still better than the 2x levels, of course, but still kind of weird to go back to. And what kind of obstacle is that? Where there's just like a high rail between these two kickers? Like, why would this ever exist? So that it's easy to get onto, but it'll hurt more if you bail because you can't, like reach your leg out like I don't, I don't get I don't get it this is such a weird level and it's also weird to be in a, in a Tony Hawk level like this where you can't bust through a window and go outside or something like that it used to be on the PS1 where if you could see through a window like if I air by a window and you'll be able to see there's like structure out there there's like you know let me just grab the gold real quick um I'm not sure if I'm still in order so I'm gonna say no I will select. Um, you know, like if you could see 3D geometry, you could get there. And there was a couple times where you couldn't. Uh, I think in the mall uh, in this game, you could get into. There was a store you could get into. But when Tony Hawk 3 came out on the PS2, there was stuff that was in 3D that was modeled that you couldn't touch, and it was so weird. It's like I obviously just haven't figured out how to get there. But no, the system was powerful enough that it could afford to. Um, what is it? Why is that glitch now? Um, that it could afford to have uh, 3D stuff that didn't serve any purpose. All right, so I got these signs, I got skate, I got score, and I got tape. Um, yeah, I don't remember this one quite as well. It's a little bit tougher for me because this level I mean, is just streets and there's random kickers around. It's just kind of a lazy level. Um, of course, I knew I was gonna overshoot that. Um, but it's hard to tell like what street you're on and it's just a big square you know like if if they made this a little later there the streets may be able to wound around a little bit or you know like some make it a little more obvious which one you're at yeah okay <laughs> thought i was gonna blow right by it again that's kind of what happens when your stats are way too high it's cool that they put the t right there where you can see it while you're down here so that you know you have to go around that's good design at least all right right around here I th think the secret tape is up here yeah pretty sure it is um, and I remember it being kind of hard to get for the oh is it between buildings or is it over here um so like I had to air here and then gap over yeah that's what it is okay so I already got the high score I got the tape um, I'm not gonna be able to get the signs but I might be able to get skate no I only got 15 seconds I will not be able to get skate, especially when I get hit by a taxi. Having a taxi in the level automatically makes it more uh, alive and interesting than uh, Tony Hawk 5 ever was. Hate that I keep bringing that up, but I can't... Oh, come on, I didn't get any air. I think I was still missing one anyway. Um, okay, skate signs and... No, I'm not going to do that. Skate signs and skate. Don't have these memorized, but I will be okay. All right, there's the S. So, oh, does the K, the K's over here, right? 
because the skate letters normally will lead you from one to the other. Um, which is not the same in Pro Skater 5. Uh, I can't stop thinking about that stupid game. It really, really brought me down to nothing, man. All right. Except, yeah, because now if I, if I went over here, now I'm up at the E, which is kind of weird. But whatever. Come on, don't turn. Okay. All right. Let's not overshoot it this time. Oh, pro. Look at me. I'm just killing it today. Okay. T to T. All right, I don't need to be doing tricks. Uh, it'll slow me down. I got the T. I can burst out of here. Grab that A. Is that it? Okay. One more of the signs is right next to me. Right over here, right over here. Um, is that four of them? Ugh, where's the last one? I don't know. Uh, oh, oh wow, I went right through it. Is it this way? Uh, please? Oh no, this is at the beginning. Okay, all right, all right. So I went through, I went to the left, and there was one over that way. Is there one if I go straight? Um, no. Yeah, this is another part about this level. Like, there's nothing for me to do as I'm skating around. You know, if there are all these rails, you know, in the Tony Hawk games, if you grind rails, you'll go faster. You can build up some speed by jumping from uh, rail to rail and all that kind of stuff. But when there's just nothing and you're skating down the middle of the street, uh, pretty boring. Um, wow, where is the next one? I'm not going to find it. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Um, there was the first one. No skateboarding. And so I have been dying to do some skating, but it keeps becoming winter again here in Colorado. Uh, what day is it? Like May 8th? or something like that, it snowed again. Oh, is this the one I missed? Uh, May 8th, it snows. And like, enough to pick up and like, start to collect in the grass and stuff. And like, it's been in, in the 40s. Um, it's ridiculous. Like, I don't I don't get why. Like, winter does not give up here. It's not that bad. I used to live in, the, in Michigan where winter is horrible. Here it kind of gets a late start, but once it's going, like, it does not stop. I just want to get out there and skate. Um, and I've got my new camera, like maybe I'll be able to do some more stuff, like, you know, maybe film some stuff. One thing I, I like to do um, is film trick tips and I'll have multiple cameras set up. And then that way, if I do the trick once really, really well, I'll have like three different camera angles on it. And so I have my old camera I could still use. I'll have my new one, which shoots uh, either 4K, is it 4K 60? But anyway, you can do uh, 120 frames a second at uh, at 1080p, which would be really good for trick tips. I got my off-brand GoPro, uh, which could shoot as well. So I could get like four angles at once, which would be pretty cool because that would make it so much quicker. I could do a couple of tricks um, and I have, you know, like a summer's worth of content pretty quick. Oh, I thought there was one of the things on there. Um, but... Yeah, I have a lot of trouble filming skating. Even with a trick tip, even with the trick I've done a thousand times, like one of the easiest tricks for me is a no comply big spin flip. I do it all the time. It's like the first thing I do when I hop on my board. It's it's an easy trick. Um, you know, it's not a difficult, impressive thing. It's, it's just this really simple trick that I can do anytime I want. But <laughs> if the camera's on, it'll take me like four tries to do it. I don't know why, it just is. Um, and so any kind of trick tip that I can do, like any trick I would do for a trick tip, um, is way too hard. I get so frustrated with that. Like I've been wanting to film one for a hard flip for a long time. I have an old one on my channel. If you search for how to hard flip right now on the channel, you'll find one. Uh, but it's old and I want a new, nice looking HD, beautiful one. But every time I've tried to go out and film hard flips, um, I can't do them. Like... I can, I can do them off camera. I'll land, like I'll, I'll warm up, I'll land a couple of them, 
turn the camera on and I have never been able to land a good one. I've had to like, you know, toe touch or something like that. But when you're teaching a trick, you don't want to show a toe touch one. Um, it's just, it's really annoying. I don't know if there's anything to be done about that. Okay, so here we are. I, oh, it doesn't start me over. Oh. So sometimes in some of the different versions of this level, because this level was remade so many times, uh, if you get to the end, it will start you over at the beginning. And I was going to say, look, I've got to teleport back to the beginning, but I'm not going to have time to find the last uh, valve, but nope. Oh, I might have, because it's right here. Right? Yeah, there it is. All right. Let me just, I'm, I'm going to grab these, and then I'll try to get the secret tape in a different one, because I probably won't be able to do both. All right. Next one is up here. Oh, sure. Let me ollie right <laughs> at the one part where I can't ollie. I'm trying to squeeze in the high score while I'm at it, but... Okay. Kickflip, late shove. That'll be a good trick to teach. Kickflip, late shove. Done those before. Okay. All right. Let me go up here. Four. All right. Then the fifth will be the wall ride one over there. Why do I get the big air thing that makes me bail in a level where it goes downhill like if you like that's another thing that gets really annoying okay open five valves is done um what is the high score i'm not sure i know i can't cross that if i'm gonna get it so now i gotta squeeze in the high score right at the very end part annoying okay i mean that's gotta be enough this is pro skater one yeah okay <laughs> all right all right, and then I will go back and I will get the tape and then we'll be moving on. Okay, all right, let me try. All right, the high, or the secret tape is really hard to get in the original version uh, with full stats and everything. And this game, even in Pro Skater 2, is a little easier. It feels like your stats are higher than they would be, you know, like, Instead of them going up to 10, they go up to 12, it feels like. Like, you're a little bit faster, you can ollie a little bit farther. So now I'm worried that I will actually overshoot it. Okay, so I gotta get up here. I forgot that one more step. Um, like, this part, you have to, on the PS1, you have to gap this, and you have to come at the rat. Oh, that's not how that was supposed to go. And you have to come at that at full speed. That's the only way you'll get that far. Um, I did not that time. I just kind of landed, and I turned over, and it was no big deal. So it's definitely easier playing this version. Um, but still, I mean, the, the that's it's not like you're missing out on a fun thing. Like having trouble finding it is, that's, that's what the challenge is, is to find it. It shouldn't be hard to get this perfect uh, setup for it. Okay. I've always liked this bowl where they put that eyeball in there. Kind of cool. Okay, I, you know, one of the first ideas for a video I had, I'm probably at like 95 already. I wonder if I could, um, let me do one more combo and then I'll just end my run and see what happens. One of the first, yeah, yeah, <laughs> cool. One of the first uh, video I ideas I wanted to do for the channel was to compare all the different versions of this skate park to the, the r real life one. Because a lot of skateboarding games at this time use this skate park. Super famous. Um, trying to grind. Come on, trying to grind. Um, and so there was a lot of different versions. It's in um, uh, Grind Session. It's in uh, MTV, I think. There's, there's at least three. I think there might even be four uh, different versions of this out there. So it would be cool to compare it to the, the real ones. I never got around to doing that, though. Comparing it to the real skate park, I mean. Uh, let's just end competition. Yeah. <laughs> See, yeah, anything score-based is so easy. The street's next. Sure, I think it is. So this one is another one where it's really spread out and slow. Like the cop cars, um, if that's what you're going to do, you just have to start it right away and go because there's all this empty area where you're just skating to the next one. Um, that isn't the most fun. Hopefully I remember where they are because it's not going to be the most fun watching me try that over and over. But um, is there one? 
back here. Yes, there's that one and that one. And then the other one is way over in the other corner. Right? Like, not back here, right? There's something back there. Oh, there's a there's a skate letter over there. Okay. Not going to worry about that. I can't get both. Um, I can get the high scores, probably, though. And the other cop car is... Oh, back here. Here we go. Cool. I did it. All right. High score. Let me just get that pro score, and then I'll restart, and I'll see if I can grab the... Oh, I could try to get the tape, I guess. Yeah, it's over there. Uh, above that gazebo thing. How have I not gotten the pro score yet? Come on, man. Probably because I keep doing 360 flips so that they're worth almost nothing. Okay. Alright. So this is another thing that's really hard on the PS1. Like, the controls. Uh, like, your skater really wants to go. So if you're holding back so that you can break and turn, you know, like if you're trying to turn around like that. Uh, it's really touchy, and he just wants to go flying. Um, Xbox version plays a lot better. Like, if you hold back and right, you'll slow down a little bit. Oh, oh crap, come on. I thought there was a quarter pipe there. Oh, of course. I'll do that first, and then maybe I'll retry and skate again. Uh, yeah, this one, it, it plays a lot smoother that way. <laughs> Stupid. Just talking about how it's easier to slow down and turn around and then I don't slow down on time. Okay. Do this again. This was another gap to actually fly out and get that tape. Was another gap that was really, really hard. I don't think it's going to be too challenging today, but we will see. Alright, so now very carefully come up here and turn around. Yeah, okay, so I do remember this. You have to get up here and you just have to like have the right speed like you couldn't get air and get going it was kind of a weird thing and like, why not right okay i got the secret tape now i want to check over here first um because i don't remember if there was one back here i don't remember where they are some of these are probably going to be pretty hidden for me okay so yeah there it is but you got to come in somewhere else um do you have to ollie through yeah, Ollie through the window here. Yeah, okay. All right. Just trying to remember. This one was never one of my favorites. So even after I, there's another. Is there a letter in here? Um. Yeah, this one was never one of my favorites. So I didn't end up playing it a lot. You know, like in free skate and stuff, and just getting used to it. Okay, I do, and I remember that being really hard to get because I was really, really high. Uh, one of the other letters is over there all the way in the back. All right, I think I'm ready to give it a shot. Don't know where the S is, though. It wasn't that close. Um, I did that little run on the right last time because I thought maybe it was there. Just trying to plan, be smart. I'm going to get this video done before it's 18 hours long. It's already about an hour. Um, all right, there's something... Come on, come on. There was some weird gap over here, I remember. Like, you could... Yeah, like either ollie up these. I don't remember what that was for. Maybe there's nothing there. Okay, what's here? It's the A. Okay. Um. Okay, so there's just nothing there. Like, what's the point of that? Was there something up at the top of here, too? There's a ton of unused space in these. Like, you can tell why they ended up doing so many more challenges in the later games, because, like, you could have done... Oh, there's a K right there. Okay. Um, like, you could have done, you know, like, do a certain trick at a certain spot here. Like, you know, do a indie grab through the window or whatever. You could have done that type of stuff, and it would have fit really well into this and padded it out and made it a little... Give you a little bit more to do. So why is the K closer to the start than anything else? I'm starting to worry. We're running pretty low on time here. Okay, there's the S. Weird spot for an S, but okay. Let me skip over the grass so I can skate a little bit faster. I'm not seeing this one coming through in the next 18 seconds. Um, <laughs> I'm going to try it anyway, though. I'm going to try it. 
Wait, come on, come on, come on. I've got manual, so it's humanly possible. Oh, no. All right, that's not gonna happen. There's no way I'm gonna have enough speed to gap into that window. But if I did, just imagine, right? Turn, turn. Uh. Oh, wow. I did not expect to be able to do that. That is awesome. <laughs> okay, wow, that was cool. I did not waste my time on that one. Okay. All right, so Roswell. Wait, did I skip a level? Oh, I skipped the school? Oh, <laughs> I should have remembered. School, um, school two is my favorite Tony Hawk level of all time. School one is pretty good. All right, lunch tables and skate. Okay, <laughs> forgot the school. All right. Let's see, where is, let's do skates. All right. Uh, there's a table over here. Um, I, I remember I played the PS1 and uh, N64 versions of Tony Hawk 1 when I reviewed that game back in the day. Uh, that was probably like three years ago now. And these tables in the uh, on the N64, they actually blink red makes them stand out, which is kind of cool. The PS1 version has those screens over there that just say Treyarch right now. Those screens are showing, like they're playing clips of skateboarding. It's weird that they didn't do that here. It obviously isn't a technical limitation if you could do it on the PS1, but it was like playing footage of skateboarding on there. Um, but the only thing the N64 had was, it might have been slightly higher resolution, or something, something minor uh, compared to all that's missing. But it also had blinking red tables, so like, you know. That's a bonus. Um, I don't remember where the last table is. If there's only one. I didn't get the tables, did I? I'm not very, I'm not very smart. Okay, I definitely got the ones that were that way. Oh, here's a table right in front of me. Oh, that was three, <laughs> oh wow. I thought I was missing one of them. Cool, cool, great. Um, not gonna be able to get it. Uh, there's none on the roof, right? That'd be kind of weird. Uh, there's probably one behind that wall over there. Cause I grab that one real quick. Um, is there one back here? There's not one back here. Okay. Okay. No big deal. That didn't help anybody. Um, is there one in that pit? I don't know. Uh, secret tape. No, don't go to Roswell quite yet. All right, I can grab that. You know what, I'm gonna grab the tape and I will use that opportunity to look for a table in case there's one up there. Okay, uh, oh wait, I don't have to go through here. I have to go up the ramp, right? Uh, let's see. Okay, come on, come on, here we go. All right. By the way, if you go to New York, um, pro tip is that if you fly out of La, La, uh, LaGuardia, uh, it's terrible. Pro tip, um, don't use that airport if at all possible. Because like when I flew out of uh, Denver, it's just like you put your bag on a thing, it goes through, they say cool, and then you get on your plane, no big deal. There in New York, I was, um, I had to, uh, uh, like they pulled my bag out and like ran drug tests on it. And like, it was just ridiculous. Uh, and there was this huge backup. Everyone was waiting for like 45 minutes. Okay, 45 minutes is a bit much. It was probably less than that, but it felt like a lot when you're gonna board soon because your driver got lost and you're way behind schedule. Um, like, they were taking forever. Then the guy who was checking all the bags and going through everything and testing them for drugs just like walked away, just kind of like stopped and, and left and then someone took his spot. But then people who are waiting for their bags to be checked through the machine, there was no one there anymore. Like it was terrible. I hated it there. That is not a cool place. And it's also kind of the trashiest airport I've been to, which isn't saying a ton. I don't travel a lot, but yeah, that was not a good place to go. I also didn't realize, I got everything right. 
I also didn't realize how expensive it was to just drive around. Like all the tolls, it cost you $15 to cross a bridge. Uh, like when they told me that, the guy that was driving was just like, what? You know, like I, I, I went to the, that airport instead of, uh, uh, of Newark because it was a lot cheaper. It's like, well, yeah, but you got to pay $30 in tolls to get there from the place I was, I was staying. It was just like unbelievable. Yeah, you're not going to catch me moving to New York anytime soon. At least the city, but uh, not at all, actually, because the weather was very similar to Michigan. And I moved out of Michigan mostly for the weather, so... Yeah, I didn't really have the time of my life there, but mostly due to other other factors. All right, so this level, I do remember being almost impossible, like so hard. The score that you had to get was, you know, but with manuals, I'm just gonna kind of screw around and I'll beat it no problem. And then we'll see, I'm, I'm sure you unlock another video here, but I do think it, it would have been really cool if they just combined the Pro Skater 1 and 2 into one long career and then there was a new video of Costin. Like, you didn't get his Pro Skater 1 and then his Pro Skater 2. You would just get one longer one that was all cut together. Um, like, that that would have been cool, and it would have made this game a little bit more... Uh, more of its own thing. But, alright. 99.2. Okay. Let's see what else. Yeah, I remember doing all, like, trying to figure out where all, all the gaps were and stuff. That's not something I, I do normally in the Pro Skater games. Like, I don't try to collect all the um, all the gaps and all that type of stuff. But uh, in, in this game, it helps so much for your score. Like, you, you have to figure out where everything is. So, like, there's almost less waste in uh, Pro Skater 1 than there is in 2 because, like, you have to see it all. You can't just, like, you know, do this... Right, like right here, just doing like trick manual, trick manual, trick manual. You could technically do that and win stuff without ever really exploring. But in Pro Skater 1, like you had to make the most of everything to get by. Alright. Ooh, that was close. Backside overturn. I can, Is that just a... I can't even tell what that grind's supposed to be. Because an overturn would be like a 5-0 to Crooks, like a 5-0 to Switch Crooks, but that looks like a like a, like a Hurricane or a, a, a Sugar Cane or something like that. Okay, so this is probably going to be the last run. I don't even need to do it, I guess, but I've been having fun, so I'm going to play it through anyway. Unless I skip some other levels. Okay, do a... Oh, come on, I was a Nolly. I was trying to do a Nolly 360 kickflip. I need to come up with a list of other games to play for these. I want something where I can have a chat window going. I can look at a question um, and just talk about it as I kind of screw around. Like the Tony Hawk games, I know them enough that I don't need to focus too hard, so I can kind of like reply and stuff. Um, like just trying to get a higher score or something. I'm not really even thinking about it. Um, so like the Skate series might not be the best because. Uh, like there's stuff you gotta listen to and like some of the challenges are really quick and then you like gotta skate to the next one and all that like I don't know maybe I'll do that but I think it'd be cool to just do like grind session thrasher some of the more obscure ones although I don't know if that's good for my YouTube perspective maybe doing ones that people actually would search for would be better I don't know I think I'm, I'm just gonna do what I want I don't really do what YouTube wants me to do I don't have any sponsors on the channel I don't have like uh, wait, was that it? There were videos in Pro Skater 1, weren't there? Or not? 100% everything. Oh, I swear there was a video at the end. Yeah, see, I just don't have as much experience with this game, but that is weird. I don't like that. Uh, okay. Well, um, <laughs> you will see me... Oh, so did Pro Skater 1 call them tapes as well? So 2X is more like 1 than it is like 2. Which doesn't make any sense, but okay. But you'll see me playing more soon. Hopefully the next thing that I do is uh, live, but we will see. Uh, yeah, that was Tony Hawk 2X. You should get this for your Xbox or Xbox 360 because it's really good. Um, but that is it for this time. I will see you around, and I'm going to be making some more stuff in the very near future. Thank you for watching.